To manage the reports received, including IATA communications, the user can choose the Files Reports option located in the upper bar of the dashboard. Next, a new tab displaying the received files within the last two months will open within the application itself, displaying the following information. File name and file type will show the name and the description associated to the file descriptor of the uploaded file. Upload date will show the date when the files were uploaded. Size will show the size of the file. Status will indicate if the file has been already downloaded or not. The results in the query can be sorted by clicking on the small triangle icons which are located in each column header next to the column label. In the bottom left, the user can select the number of documents to display per page and navigate through them by clicking on the back and forward icons on the bottom right. On the right top corner of each tab, the user will always have the main function buttons available, depending on the permissions and user type. In this tab, only the Filter button is available. The Filter button allows the user to specify a more detailed search and find communications and files using the available filter fields. The fields available to filter the search are File name The user can filter for a file name or a pattern. File type In this field, the user can choose the file type from the drop-down list. The user can select a date range to filter the files with this Upload Date field. Status – to filter between downloaded or not downloaded statuses. Once a filter is applied and the search button is pressed, the files that meet the criteria will be displayed. In order to download a file, the user should click over the file name. When the user clicks on the file name, the download of the file starts automatically. The user can also download a file clicking on the three dots located at the end of each row. This functionality will also allow the user to archive this particular file. If the user decides to archive a file, it will be automatically moved to the Archive tab. Archived files are simply moved to a different folder where they remain available until they reach the two months all files are, by default, available to download. They can be accessed through the Archive tab appearing on top of the option panel. Now, to upload files, the user can choose the Files Upload option located in the upper bar of the dashboard. Once the Upload option is selected, a modal window will open which will allow the user to upload one or more files. It can be done by browsing for the files or dragging them directly to the application. If the file names do not meet the BSP Link criteria, the system will notify the user and the erroneous files will not be uploaded. On the other hand, if the file names comply, then the user can click on the Upload button and the file will be uploaded to the system and distributed to the corresponding user. Once done, the user will return to the Inbox Received Files tab. For more information, please refer to the user manual on how to check the files.